who is your Heisman uh, winner you would give it to? Devontae Smith, no questions asked. The guy's a weapon. He's a stud. Every time he touches the ball, electricity happens. He gets, he gives me big Alabama, like Jerry Judy, Amari Cooper, Julio Jones, just like that. He gives me those feelings. Like, Matt Jones, like, he's not a Heisman candidate. He's good because of what he's got around him. Sure, that'll give you hype and attention, but you know what? When you have someone as electric as Devontae Smith just going out there making plays week after week after week, what sold me on him for the Heisman is that catch against LSU, that one-handed OBJ-style catch in Tiger Stadium. Then I'm like, that guy's winning the Heisman. Like, obviously Kyle Trask can make his case. People saying Trevor Lawrence should. I'm like, but Trevor Lawrence missed two games. I'm pretty sure Smith played every single game this year. And obviously the Heisman's different this year. It's being awarded in 2021, so we won't have an official 2020 Heisman winner. We'll have two 2021s. It, this, it's... I'd have Smith. I, I have nothing else to say. Pitts, I think, would make a close second. But, man, if you just look at Devontae Smith and what he's been able to do, that's a hard, it's a hard to argue against him. Yeah, you mentioned Matt Jones should be a candidate. I really don't think he should be either. I do have him in my top five, but it's kind of like we said earlier. Um, if you're an Alabama quarterback, you're going to have a good season regardless who you are. And um, Trevor Lawrence, I don't – he's he's good. He has the hype around him. But the Heisman stuff is just ridiculous. Um, after the Notre Dame game, people have said, oh, Trevor Lawrence is going to win the Heisman. His backup had a better game than he did against Notre Dame. Yeah. Look at the stats. I mean, he, I mean, Lawrence is great, but I don't think he should win the Heisman. Devontae Smith is an incredible talent. He's the best wide receiver this year. But to me, it's between Devontae Smith and Trask. I would give it with the Trask, but if it's not Trask, I would definitely give it to Devontae Smith. And the thing about Smith is it seems like people – like you know the ball, who the ball is going to. And he still catches it and gets like 130-some yards a game, a couple yeah. of touchdowns. But with Trask, to me, in 11 games, his completion percentage is 70%. Is worth 4,000 passing yards, 43 uh, touchdowns, five picks, and three rushing touchdowns. The thing to me, if you compare Trask's stats to – I'm not saying he's better, but if you compare Trask's stats to Joe Burrow's last year, there's not, a much, there's not much difference between the stats. And this is an all-SEC schedule. To me, that's the thing that makes it absolutely insane. Last year when Joe Burrow was with LSU – um, I believe they played in, like, Northwestern State or something like that and Georgia Southern. Trask is putting out, like, 400-yard performances and with four or five touchdowns. Seems like every single game against very competitive teams. I mean, he threw for over 400 touchdowns and uh, four or five uh, – excuse me, over 400 yards and four or five touchdowns against Alabama. Alabama, I mean, you, if you do that against Alabama, you're definitely a Heisman contender. And the fact that he did that and no turnovers, I know we had the fumble, but it didn't count because the penalty. He, in my opinion, he definitely played, outplayed Matt Jones. And Trevor Lawrence has had a couple of games that was, was that were really good. But to me, it really – people forget uh, the week before the Notre Dame game, the week – the game – Trevor Lawrence threw for less – through for less than 200 yards against Virginia Tech. To me, like, that, I know it's one game, but the me, that kind of just takes you out. And you look at Lawrence, he's missed a couple games. He played, I believe, the Citadel or somewhere like that at the yeah. beginning of the year. It's the ACC. Who does the ACC have aside from Clemson? And I, and I don't know if Clemson played um, North Carolina. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure. But – like I said, Devontae Smith and Trask, they're playing an all-SEC schedule. Without a doubt, the SEC is the best uh, conference in college football. They're putting up remarkable numbers, historical numbers. I would have Trask one, but if it's, I would have definitely Devontae Smith number two. If it's not Trask, I would give it to Smith. But to me, it has to be one of those two people. 